In scripture, Queen Jezebel is pointed to as the epitome of evil. She led Israel into open idolatry and tried to completely wipe out the worship of God. Well, today we see that her daughter, Athaliah, made in her mother's image, led Judah astray as well. Athaliah influenced her husband to kill all of his brothers. After her husband's death, her son Ahaziah was king for a short time, but when he died, her love for power caused her to try to kill all of her grandchildren who were rivals to the throne that she wanted, and so a bloodbath begins. 2 Kings chapter 11, verse 1-3 through 3 tells us, When Athaliah, the mother of King Ahaziah of Judah, learned that her son was dead, she began to destroy the rest of the royal family. But Ahaziah's sister, Jehoshaphat, the daughter of King Jehoram, took Ahaziah's infant son, Joash, and stole him away from among the rest of the king's children who were about to be killed. She put Joash and his nurse in a bedroom and hid him from Athaliah so that the child was not murdered. Joash remained hidden in the temple of the Lord for six years while Athaliah ruled over the land. Jehoshaphat heads into the mayhem like a firefighter rushing into a burning building and rescues one little prince named Joash. Now Joash's grandmother, Athaliah, his grandfather Jehoram, and his father Ahaziah were all wicked people. Humanly speaking, the genes point to another evil king. But God had other plans. Jehoshaphat hides Joash in the temple for six years with her husband, Jehoiada the priest. Together in dark days, they raise Joash to know the Lord and he eventually becomes a godly king. Right at the time that Athaliah thought she was in control, her judgment came suddenly as she was ordered to be killed. Now listen, acts against God always result in failure. Athaliah thought she had everyone killed, so her position in the kingdom was secure. But she didn't realize that Joash had been protected by God since birth. God would not allow evil to prevail. Jehoiada was God's instrument to bring the kingdom back to the rule of God's chosen people. 2 Chronicles chapter 23, verse 16 tells us, Jehoiada made a covenant between himself and the king and the people that they would be the Lord's people. Afterwards, all the people went over to the temple of Baal and tore it down. They demolished the altars and smashed the idols and they killed the priest of Baal in front of the altars. Here's the deal. The ways of the world and earthly promises often can fail, but the determination to follow God and become His chosen people is the first step towards reconciliation with Him. Today, I hope and pray that all of us can be like Jehoiada when we face difficult times in our life and stand on the promises of God.